So I, I had some challenges phasing out my work and um, I didn't plan all four phases due to some of those challenges, but I got phase one completed. So I believe we have a good enough plan to start our construction on the, the bedroom. Can I ask you to go through the phase one plan that you, you designed? Is that on uh, stickies? Is that what we're gonna do, Eric? It, it sure is. Okay, if you can do that, that'd be great. Fantastic, um, let me show you. Well, let's take a look at this in our weekly work plan. So next Monday is our official start date in construction and we are going to safe off the space and uh, protect any, any finishes. Um, and we're going to start with some demo and then pulling out some of the shelves. Uh, we're going to do some room layout and uh, we're going to try to uh, get that window swapped out uh, in time to get ready for framing out the, uh, the first walls the following week. The next thing that we need to look at is our budget. And this is primarily a rough order of magnitude, but we've gotten to a low level of detail with our budget, but there's still some unknowns. So we're gonna be working within a $20,000 budget for the four phases of work. And right now um, that is right at our budget. So um, it's a not to exceed number. Um, but we will see as we learn more about the finishes and materials uh, if we're going to be hitting that budget. So that's what's that's upstairs. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. okay. So now that you know, based on stickies, what you're going to do, um, uh, I guess the next step is really execute one step at a time. Yeah, I, I, it is. And I think I had a couple learning experiences uh, last week th through this exercise. And, and one of the realizations I came to was, was um, planning out the appropriate level of detail um, with not only my, my construction plan, but also my budget. And at first I found myself trying to get to the, to the nth degree for, for all of my costs when I, and I figured out that just le leveraging an, a rough order of magnitude at this point, particularly for future phases, is helping me um, establish a, a, a benchmark number that I can't exceed, um, but now it allows me some flexibility to keep playing with our design. So that was that was a learning uh, opportunity or experience uh, last week as well. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, I find that the further out, the less detail you need, and the closer it comes, the more the you know things get fleshed out, if you will. So yeah, yeah great experience. I also one learned one one thing, or I'm trying. I practice something that I learned from, from uh, uh, Shingo is is it's looking at the value stream from the customer's perspective, and so I'm really trying to do that with my schedule and understand um, the customer, aka my my wife and uh, other family, um, what this construction is going to look like from their eyes. And there's going to be some constraints that I have to work around. One of which is some family guests, but the other one is we're having a baby in the middle of next month. So I've got to respect the customer and look at the value stream from their eyes uh, and plan around those, those, uh, those, those events. You know, it's interesting because as soon as you said, I'm going to have a baby next month, I'm thinking, well, just like in, in Houston a couple years ago, uh, there was flooding and everything came to a halt for construction. Well, you're going to have a baby. How do you manage the unknown? Well, you know it's coming, but how do you manage the unknown in your schedule? And that's a challenge, and and I'm I'm leveraging buffers uh, to to a, a limited extent, and I'm planning uh, workable backlog activities during that planned downtime. So um, it'll be an opportunity to get some work done, but it won't be work that's necessarily on the critical path, which is what I'm concerned with. Very good. So that critical path uh, is that going to be affected by the baby? Absolutely not. And unless there's the, the, something happens at the hospital, um, this is a C-section, so it's very planned. Luckily, uh, so I believe I've 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 tried to think ahead through any roadblocks. Okay, I would just encourage you not to use the absolutely not, because sometimes uh, when we tell God our plans, He just laughs at us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. So the the plan for this coming week, what does that look like? So this plan starting Monday is our true start construction 
uh, date. Um, so through next week, we are going to be um, removing all, all of the materials and the homeowners uh, stuff from the spaces. And we're gonna start our demo work um, Monday, Tuesday, pulling off the uh, doors and trim. And um, late and the second half of the week, we're gonna start framing in that room. Now, part of the plan is to keep um, uh, a partition wall up so we can do construction on the inside and not have any of the debris and stuff coming into the home. Um, so we're gonna do, we're gonna frame uh, one of the four walls in the room next week, and that will allow us uh, to, to start around and uh, do the window and then bring down the partition wall. And how are you gonna keep the critical activities going when the baby's coming? Are you planning on taking time off, a day off? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've actually planned five days of downtime. Oh, you um, did? In the, yep, I, in the thing, good. Yep, there's five, there's five days and then I've got some, uh, a couple activities that I can do if I am available, but they're, okay. no, they're not on the critical path. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, um, uh, excellent, Eric. That sounds like you got a great plan. By Wednesday, you're gonna have some real activity going on. I'd love it if you took videos and shared with the group what happened throughout the days, Monday through Friday. That'd be excellent. What went well during the meeting? What could we do better next time? I really liked uh, br you bringing in and in Shingo into the conversation. I, I appreciate um, leveraging some level of learning uh, in conjunction with the work that we're doing here together. But I, I really love his teachings and, uh, and, and for that reason, I wanted to share some deep insights. So it's very good that uh, he took me on as a student at one point. So this is The Coaches. Coach. With George Strachilis and. And Eric Lucis. See you guys next time. Have a good day.